Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. This is actually a video from Future Titan because this game is now long uh, finished and completed weeks ago. However, <laughs> as um, pure Titan luck would have it, uh, this particular section has been completely garbled and corrupted for reasons which will forever remain a mystery. So, Let's continue, shall we? So when we last left off, we came down the uh, weird windy shaft, which was full of hot gases being sprayed in our face and copious amounts of enemies. So let's continue, shall we? We have a serious security system to defeat. Yes. Now this security system doesn't like to mess around. There's a few ways of dealing with this. My preferred method is large quantities of firepower. Now, we can also turn the security system off, but in doing so, there is a little bit of trickiness to it. So, you can turn some of them off, but not all of them. Let me just move my tablet out of the way. Uh, yeah, so that can lead to some tricky situations if you're trying to just disable them all with the buttons. It's not worth it. I just find copious quantity of gun seems to work just as well as anything else. And something bad happened in here, didn't it? Oh, man. I don't know if we've got any goodies in any of these boxes. It's been so long, I can't even remember. Eh, looks like we're clear. Looks like we've got some head crabs joining the party. Well, be rude not to say hello to them. Sniper rounds, eh? Well, we don't see those super often, do we? Now, this room is pure joy. We've got a gun turret in the right in the corner there. There's another gun turret under the... Uh, door on the opposite side and there's a, two gun turrets in this corner as well and these bloody automatic doors don't really help anybody to be honest okay Oop. we're actually being shot at yeah so there's two uh, gun cameras here which to be honest with you are going to give us a bad time. Now, notice how they're not actually... Oh, dear. Okay. We... We should actually be secure behind these boxes. You know, that's what they're for. But uh, I guess that one decided to just say, fuck it, and shoot through them anyway. Um, right, yeah. So, as I said, we have two cameras behind us. And two cameras in front of us. If we turn off those cameras and think we are doing a smart, it will actually turn those ones on. So, yeah, you're kind of boned either way, really. Now, thanks to that gun camera there, we're in a bit of a pickle, to be honest. But that's okay. We can just creep. Yeah, this, this gun camera is pretty switched on. He knows what's going on. Yep, and he has all of the accuracy. You get two types of gun cameras in this game. You have the ones with all of the accuracy, and you have the ones with none of the accuracy. Uh, and because this is a redo, we're having a bad time. Okay, so we managed to deactivate them. I don't trust them. I really... Uh, I'm not a fan of these, so we're going to just destroy them. It's going to make me feel a little bit better. Whew, there we go. Let's swap that magazine out. All right. Okay, Blake. Things are sort of... I don't want to say looking up, but I think... Apart from these head crabs, I think we have the situation somewhat under control. Whew. And on to the next section. But our torturous journey is just... Just getting started. Actually, to be fair, this section isn't that bad. First time round, I actually... I had a 
bit of trouble with it, but oh my, our health is not great. Where's Cohen? I thought he was with you. No, he went to the medical supply area to pick up more antibiotics. A and you let him go alone? What the hell are you thinking? Oh, relax. The area is secure. Secure? Are, are you crazy? Those things are everywhere. Then why don't you go find him? No, I think I'm going to stay right here. Uh-oh. Back down, Stoles. You don't want this fight. Screw you! I, I don't know what kind of game you're playing here, but it ends now! Yeah, and it ends with you. Uh-oh. Looks like we have a bit of a standoff here. Well, so we can intervene, uh, and we kind of have to intervene, to be honest. One of these gentlemen is uh, infected. One of these gentlemen is not infected. Do you know which one it is? Now, you can actually just, like, blood test one. Or, you know, there's various other ways that you can get around the situation. Or, if we actually just wait for a while, the imposter will show his true colours. And I found that out <laughs> by just going to make a coffee and forgetting to pause the game. And then I heard loads of noise. Come on. There we go. Yep. Right. Let's see if we can't use large quantities of fire. And that way, we don't actually have to waste any of our goodies. So, Stoles. Unfortunate bit of business there. Ryan was obviously the imposter. Now, but I mean, you would okay. think Ryan's the obvious imposter. Now, if we blood test uh, Stoles here, he will actually be clean. But, well, I don't believe the test is entirely accurate. So anyway, let's go take our friend though through here. Let's see what we can find. To a robot room. We like robots. Who doesn't like robots? Everybody likes robots. Right. Could you repair the data room for me, please? If I can remember. There we go. How to do it. Oh, Stoles is really low on health as well. Yes, sir. But, you know, we don't we don't really we don't really care about that, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, we have a very limited supply of medkits. And we're going to be holding on to our medkits. Okay. So I guess we could just throw down a save, I suppose. Because why not? I mean, um, I'm glad I didn't actually delete all of these saves. Uh, or at least enough of these saves. Otherwise, <sighs> yeah, that would have that would have been bogus. All right, buddy. Now, of course, because we've told him to do something, he stopped following us. So we... Damn it. Now I need an engineer. Well, good thing is, we have an engineer right there. His name is Stoles, apparently. I don't know what this robot contraption is here, but we're not going to worry about that too much. Pay it no heed. All right. Now, Stoles, me old mate... So, if you could repair that power supply, I I would be indebted to you for at least a while. You know what? I have some more bullets. Okay. Eh, I'd forgotten how fiddly this uh, system okay. actually is. Also, um, in returning to this game, I was trying to place the sound effects in this game. Well, that's not good. One of the computers has exploded. And they're really weird. Like, when you hear the engineer engineering on these things, or when you do it yourself, it it's just like scraping scratchy metal. I don't know. I, I don't know what they're doing. It just sounds strange. Also, when the doors open and shut, it's not a great sound effect. I don't know. This is... It's it's odd. It's something that I've noticed way more when I've come back to this game. Anyway, the anti-thing virus is proving to be our finest work to date. 
None of this could have been possible without the people I work with on this groundbreaking project. All right. What else have we got here? Testing is going well, and there is a very positive feel within the team today. Stoll's work is impeccable as usual, and Ryan is picking up the new technology at a reasonable price. Well, at reasonable pace, I should say. Well, I mean, he picked up the, the, the virus at a reasonable pace, I guess. So what else have we got here? We had a minor, what you might call... Uh, we had a what you might call a minor incident today. I had to send Ryan to see Cohen for a checkup, but I think he'll be just fine. Austin is going to take his workload for today. What's that? Ryan feeling a little under the weather. Hmm. Acting suspicious. Hmm. Stoles was up all night doing intensive research into our current specimens. He continues to remind us how invaluable he is to the team. He said... He said he heard some commotion around Sam, but the system says he was the only one here. Oh no. Yeah. We've got Griblies. We have Griblies. We have Griblies. Yes, we do. We're fine. Everything's under control. Okay. Oh, evening. Oh, you dirty little gobshite. So you may be wondering, like, why Blake doesn't get uh, turned into a thing, considering he takes all of these hits. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, oh, it's video game logic. But apparently there is a... Somewhere you... Let's get this over some with. of these notes apparently hint at the idea of him being immune, but I'm not really sure. It's just something I saw in a retrospective of this game. Everyone was late starting today. I heard some very peculiar noises last night. It's probably nothing, but these strange sounds are locked in my mind. The team seems on edge and look the worse for wear. Ryan seems to be the only man in good condition, even after his scrape yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Not sure what his scrape was. We've already heard that there was some commotion going on with Sam. Um, but, you know, Ryan's definitely a, the bang up dude. Certainly not an imposter wearing somebody's skin. Uh, I found a large hole in the ventilation shaft this morning. I think it's... I think some wild animal must have crawled in there. It caused a great deal of damage and seems to have bled profusely. It must have either retreated and died or survived its ordeal, as I could see no remains. I've informed security and they are investigating. Well, hopefully they find something. The beast has friends. The security team is dead, and I can't find anything to defend myself with. If anybody's reading this, well, that guy's screwed, basically. All right, well, we've got the power back on. Come on, Stoles. I hear you're one of the good ones. That panel controls the time security door to the Black Tech Lab. Now, I can jam the door from the inside, but you'll have to stay here and flick the switch. Now, it only stays open for a few seconds, so give me some time to get there first. Okay. Now, this you can actually screw up. Like, if we watch this camera, we can see him, and we've got to buzz him through that door. But if we don't bother, we fail in our task, <laughs> and he comes back and moans at us. Yeah, we had one job and we failed. <laughs> Sorry, dude. I'm just a little bit slow on the uptake. That's all. But, you know, he'll keep running back and forth as much as required. There he goes. And he's about there. So we'll hit the switch and buzz him through. Now, you can tell, like, the sound design is strange as well because when he was right next to us, we could barely hear him, but now he's like two or three rooms over. We can hear him really clear. Very, very strange things going on here. But, you know, we're not going to sit here and dwell on it. Anyway, Stoles has opened the way for us like a good lad. Unfortunately, he has opened the way into a room that's full of nasties. It's incredibly full of nasties. 
and these uh, pods that just spew somewhat unlimited... Oh, God, hello. Ow. And, of course, we're setting ourselves on fire because um, then the Xbox is tripping out, which ain't great either. Now, one thing I have noticed about this shotgun, which I believe I've mentioned later on, is it works more like a rifle. I mean, it does have a little bit of a scatter to it, but... There we go. But it is really accurate. In fact, what's really bizarre is the shotgun is more accurate than the SMG. And there is our friend Stoles, who absolutely wasn't a mutant until the point he was. Sadly. Well, poor Stoles. We hardly knew him. Terrible waste of human life. Anyway, no time for tears. Jesus, help me. Look, I can only help you if you get your shit together. Now tell me what you know. Check out that terminal. I, I can't figure it out, but maybe it'll make sense to you. Check out that terminal, huh? Okay. We can do that. God damn son of a bitch. Never trust anybody. That's what I always say. Well, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Luckily, there is a panel here that we can repair. Even if it does take a, a while. I hope this green gas that's being pumped into this room is something good for me. Luckily, we've got a nice little camera here that we can use to destroy the uh, ominous gas bottle. Now, what happens if the time runs out? Well, you die. Pretty self-explanatory, really. But we can grab up some med kits there. We've got five of them, which should be plenty. Right, what else have we got here? There's some SMG ammo. I guess we'll take it. So hopefully we'll find that snaky little turd that uh, chased us in here. So what do we have on this computer? Deep breath, Blake. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. All right, well, let's open the door. Now, if we actually walked close to that door earlier, it would have actually flagged up as an objective. Just simply called walk. Um, I think it's just simply called open the door to the firing range. Because that's right, boys and girls, we're going to a firing range. And I, for one, thought that was quite cool. All right. Now, we did see some government goons run in there. I call them government goons, but they're obviously not working for the government. They're working for um, UG... Uh, I can't even remember what the company's called, the Evil McEvil Company. And I will, again, apologize for the Xbox continuously um, jibbing out. Unfortunately, there's not a huge amount I can do about that. Uh, there is oof, a gun turret down there. Which apparently is rather resistant. There we got it. Resistant to grenades, apparently. As all the best gun turrets generally are. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. <laughs> Can't fool me. Right, we can turn the sentry controls off there for some reason. And there's that snaky little turd that tried to get the better of us. Bastard. Right, one second, guys. All right, let's continue, shall we? Ah, yes, it does that sometimes. If you pause the game for a while, the screen goes black. Uh, don't know why. <laughs> Just a, another quirk of this game. Anyway, uh, so looks like we have some doors that we can repair. Excellent. We like repairing doors. It's our favorite pastime. 
So what's behind this one? Looks like we've got a trio of CCTV cameras. We have a guarded door. We have some kind of observation area. The dead gentleman inside. And if we look over there... Area looks secure. We've got an engineer, which quite comically um, is facing the wall. And uh, telling me that the area is secure. Even though there's goons. Ah! And there is our friend. The friend that stabbed us in the back. Bleeding out. Bless him. Right, let's go confront these goons, shall we? With our shotgun. Yeah. Yeah, they don't like our shotgun. Ooh, there's an awful lot of ammo and equipment here, isn't there? That may just be because we have a nasty bit of business to attend in a minute. And we can also have some fun down at the shooting range. Which is always good. Not sure if anything actually happens if we uh, enjoy ourselves a little bit too much at the shooting range. Pretty sure it's just, you know, there for the lols. Anyway, let's go fix up the observa or observation room power. Just to, you know, tidy the place up a little bit. There we go. Okay. I don't think we've got anything down here. Nope. That's fine. Let's go find our engineer. The one who was convinced that the area was secure. Not sure how he knew we was looking through the uh, security cameras either, but there we go. Ah, hello. Looks like we have another specimen tank. And a gun camera that we can play with. With some little head crabs. Well, let's go make some Swiss cheese. Some it Swiss cheese. And get our friend here to follow us. Okay. Come on, brother. I've got some doors for you. He did. He certainly did. And to be fair, you're probably going to get turned inside out at some point as well. But, hey, never mind. Right, so... This is where that dude ran into. Not sure what happened to him. He kind of ran in here, barricaded himself in, and bled to death? Don't really know what happened. Maybe he ran into the laser thing? Who knows? Anyway, if you could be a good lad and repair that for me, yes, sir. I'll be quite happy. <laughs> Almost looks like he's just like licking the box. And hey, you know, there's nothing wrong with licking boxes. Absolutely nothing wrong with that at all. Anyway, let's go grab up some shotgun shells and we're going to drop a save. For we have a little bit of business to attend. You know what, buddy? You have served your purpose. You can go chill there. We have some goons to take out. And another one of those weird dangly thing bosses. Now, this boss actually is... A bit of a nutsack. And I've let the other thing out of its cage. Which is hardly ideal. Now, if you're wondering to yourself what exactly happened there, uh, allow me to explain. This boss, this boss is odd. So as we can see, it dangles from the roof. And we have to shoot it until it's on dead red health and then burn it. All right. Nothing too strange so far. Okay. There is also a thing specimen that we've unleashed by shooting the tank. 
probably better if you don't do that, but it doesn't really matter too much. Now, burning this boss is actually really bizarre because when I first tried this a couple of times, I couldn't work out how to actually set him on fire because if you stop to aim up, um, he'll kill you, right? But you can just set fire to the floor underneath him and even if... It doesn't matter if he's over the fire or not, because he does wave around. As long as you burn the right tile, he dies. Yeah, again, comes down to questionable settings. And here come the goons. Luckily, luckily the AI is pretty, pretty questionable. So we can... just take them out with our long-range shotgun. We like long-range shotguns. Come on. The quicker you burn to death, the better. Put your weird thing penis away, please. Not sure why this guy's taking so long to die. Um... Are you really not dead? What is going on here? Oh, okay. I was going to say it's like he's bugged out or something. That was actually reasonably bizarre. Anyway, it doesn't really matter what we do with our health and things because this is a replacement video. So when we continue with the next video, everything's going to be different. So there are some uh, grenade canisters uh back here but we don't need them and that my good dudes is going to conclude this video so i'm not even going to save it or anything because where we continue from the next video is essentially here yes Yes, it is. I had to double check that. So yeah, here's where I saved it. Anyway, guys, kind of annoying to have to go back and replace a video. But at the same time, I'm very, very happy that I could go back and replace the video. Because some LPs, that's not an option. So thanks for watching, guys. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the LP.